Hello everyone, welcome back to Dual Charge Gaming. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how I paint wings. Now this is wings that are for bats, dragons, demons and the like. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be painting the Games Workshop, Undead or Vampire Counts, Vargeist, as you can see here. So to begin with, I'll undercoat the wings in black. And then following that, I add a layer of Mechrite Red. And I just want to touch on the brushes that I use. Um, I recently got given a set of the Windsor and Newton brushes, a birthday present, and I haven't looked back since. They're just they're fantastic brushes, and anyone who's a serious painter, I'd highly recommend getting a set of these. And as always, I'll be using the wet palette. And if you haven't seen it already, you can check out the multi-base tutorial on how I create these. So now I'll just go ahead and add a little bit of the Mechrite Red to the palette and I'll be watering it down about 50% water, 50% paint. You can use some kind of watering agent, uh, Games Workshop to have their own brand, but I just prefer to use water. And as I said, less is more. So I'll just mix that together now and start applying it to the model like so. Another layer of Mechrite Red is complete, it's time to start adding a wash. Now for this first layer of wash I mix together Lich Purple, if you haven't got Lich Purple you could use any mauve colour will do, with the Army Painter Strong Tone. Again if you haven't got this, Games Workshop have plenty of uh, washes of a similar colour or tone. Now mix together about two thirds of Strong Tone with a third of Lich Purple and then also mix in a bit of water. Now the reason I added in the purple was just to give that first wash, um, well the first layer, sorry, that purple tint, which is crucial to the overall effect of the wings that I'm going for. So I just mix them together now and I'll start adding the first layer of wash. As you can see now the wash is dry, the purple tint has been applied to the red and the strong tone has fallen into all of the recesses. I'll be going over it again with a dry brush of Mechrite Red. And after applying the dry brush, I then add another layer of wash. At this stage, I mix together a bit of blue shade, 50% blue shade with 50% water, and just gently apply the wash to the raised areas of the wings like so. Okay, once the second layer of wash is dried, it's time to add the lighter shade of red. Now for this, I use a Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet, but if you're using Valio, you could use the Carmine Red instead. Now just apply a heavy layer of dry brush to the center raised area of each section of the wings, like so. And 
for the final layer of dry brush I just add a, a light layer to the most raised area of the wings in the Citadel Everland Sunset. Now for the third stage of washes I add a layer of strong tone but just in the areas where the wings are connecting with the bones like so just to add greater depth to the model. Okay, and now using Caliban Green from the Citadel range, or any dark green paint you might have, is to paint the bones, or fingers if you like, uh, between the wings. And I'll also be mixing this with a little bit of the Lemian Medium. But if you haven't got that, any just a bit of water will do fine, as long as it's clean. Just add a bit of that now. should be fine. Here we go. Okay, now just start adding that to the miniature. Okay, I've already mixed the paint on the palette for the next step here, but what I did was added a little bit of the Citadel Ice Blue to the green watered down mix that was already on the palette, and just apply that to the raised areas of the bone like so. Now the first layer of highlights are complete, it's now time for the second layer which is just ice blue on its own. Again, water that down a little bit because we want it to be too dense, we want it to blend in with the layer beneath. And just apply it to the raised areas as before but not going quite as far in as the previous layer, like so. Final layer of highlighting, just add a little bit of white to the ice blue, about a 3 to 1 ratio, and just apply a little bit to the most raised areas of where we've already been applying the highlights, like so. Okay, now that's the painting complete, all that's left to do now is to apply a layer of varnish. Now I use the Citadel Art Coat for this, but Valio also have a gloss varnish that's equally as good. What I'll do is apply a little bit of that to the palettes. Don't want to get a too thick a layer to the wings and just apply it like so. And here we have the finished product. I'd like to say thank you to Ashley Gray for requesting this video and if you have any requests yourself please feel free to comment below and if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe. As always thank you for watching, we'll see you soon.